John Morant sits down for an interview. I heard this nigga will have, like, guns in the party or some shit. I don't know, bro. He doing all types of crazy shit, bro. All right, let's see what's going on with John Morant. Audio. News tonight. I'm go. Richard Ransom. We have a lot to get to, but first, an exclusive interview with John Morant. It just cleared from ESPN after we learned that he was suspended for eight games by the NBA. Oh, that shit. suspension will be retroactive, meaning he will only miss two more games before he's eligible to play again. ESPN oh, wrapped up an interview with John Morant just a short time ago that we've been given an exclusive right to share. Is John Morant right there or no? All right, here it is, a two-minute excerpt of the rest. The rest will be shown later on SportsCenter on ESPN. Here it is. You're 23 years old. You're a superstar. You're one of the faces of the NBA. What has the last 10 or 11 days been like for you, and how are you doing? Oh, this shit feel like 2K. Am I am I addicted to 2K, bro? I want to play 2K, bro. Like this shit just make me want to play 2K, bro. Personally, um, I feel yeah, he's a thug. Mentally good that I haven't you know been in you know many years. You know, I'm in a space where I'm you know very comfortable. I was constantly you know talking to therapists. Mm. Um, I've been doing you know reiki treatment. Um, I've been doing anxiety breathing. You know different stuff to okay. you know help me manage that and you know release you know all that stuff from my body. But when did you what? say, I'm going to do this and it's necessary? Now that I made a, you know, terrible mistake, you know, being inside um, a club and, you know, went live, um, I put myself in, you know, a bad position. Um, and also, it's, you know, my daughter. Mm. Um, there's times where she even tell me if she's, you know, had a bad day. And you know, I felt like, you know, if she can tell. Nah, WPR chat. W this is a WPR move right here, bro. Okay? This is a WPR move. You got to do this when you got, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You got, you have, you have to do this when you, uh, you know what I'm saying, in a PR movement, chat. This is a PR move right here. I mean, this is a great you know, PR I move. be able to go and talk to somebody as well. Great PR move right You're here, at bro. at the spot. Shotgun Willies. I've been there. You are holding a gun. And we both know how dangerous that can be. Oh, shit. Whose gun were you holding? Well, the gun wasn't mine. Um, no, I, it's not who I am. I don't condone and, you know, any type of violence. Um, but I take, you know, full responsibility, you know, for my actions. Um, made a, you know, bad mistake. It's really busy when this um, nigga try to get his mom back. Uh, the image, you know, that I, I painted, you know, over myself, you know, with my recent mistakes, but you know, in the future. Um, bro, look at the title. Look at the title, bro. Look at the title of the stream where I got on my face, bro. Just don't add, bro. Just chill. John really is, you know, what I'm about and, um, you know, change this narrative. Again, you can see the uh, full interview you can watch on ESPN Sports oh, Center shit. tonight. Now let's catch you up on the NBA's actions today. Oh, there's a gun! The of Jaw is for conduct detrimental to the league. It's all over that oh, live wow, feed with Jaw showing a gun at a strip club near Denver on March 4th. This what? is right after the Grizzlies lost to the Nuggets. We're told Morant met with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver earlier today That's after receiving thug. counseling at a program in Florida. Morant will be eligible to return to the Grizzlies against the Dallas Mavericks on March 20th. So let's get some perspective on all of this with Clayton Collier, who's been covering Jaw really uh, since he came to the Grizzlies. Thug shape, yo, chill, uh, chill. First, your about what Jaw had chill to say. Chill with the thug shape, pretty bro. pretty contrite to me. We're going to do yeah, the thug shape challenge later, chat. We need all the big dick niggas to pull up on the hood. We're going to do the thug shape. All big dick niggas stay in the stream. We're doing the thug shape later, bro. Called a, a reckless action, um, you know, from John, his behavior over the last, uh, you know, couple of uh, weeks overall. Uh, so, you know, the hope is obviously that he moves forward from here. And as he said, that we'll see who the real Ja is uh, moving forward after this. Very good. So, uh, John Moran you know, is the greatest basketball player about, ever. Uh, the NBA's punishment for him. Uh, do you think it was fair, not fair, too harsh? I mean, there were people who were predicting him. We may not see him for the rest of the season. Yeah, there were. Now, it, it's important to remember that eight-game suspension, it's retroactive, meaning the six games. Tonight is his sixth game of what the Grizzlies said he'd be away from the team. Uh, that really just meant that uh, the NBA was coming in with the actual suspension where the, it was going to be without pay. So that, that was the NBA moving in on that. But... It's important to know the NBA said they conducted an investigation and they could not conclude that it was his gun, that he brought it into the club, that he had it on a team plane or in any NBA facility. And the, the only thing that they conclude is that for a short time, 
he was flashing that gun on Instagram Live. And so that's why mm. it became conduct detrimental yeah. to the league um, and to his team. So uh, overall for that to, to only end up being an extra two games through this weekend, I think is fair being able uh, to be eligible on March 20th. We don't think he's going to play that day though. Okay. Uh, ESPN also reporting that there's going to be a ramp up period. While he was in counseling, uh, he was not playing basketball, was not uh, practicing as well. So the thought is, is that there's going to be a short ramp up time, maybe later next week before. So we basically, see they just vicious. They're going to counsel it and told him, "Don't do." Wait, hold on, chat. Let's think about this, bro. So, like, when you like in the lead and shit, like, do you get like controlled to not do shit? Like, do you get controlled or no? Actually, on the floor, but yeah. eligible to be back with the team on Monday. Because what's clout uh, quickly, counseling? What do you think is the uh, I don't know. The and then they get like a grown man behind all of this, a, a collective, I don't know, crossing of the fingers. Hopefully that this is Jaws' last time and the lesson's been learned, and we can uh, focus on playing basketball now. Yeah, I think everybody's crossing their fingers. Whether that's the Grizzlies, the league, you know, Nike, uh, his family, himself as well. You know, I, I think it's important to point out that. You know, this isn't the first incident that we've been talking about over the last couple months. And throughout those, we've heard from Ja that that's fake, that that's not true. This has been disproven. This, there was no getting around this. Yeah. And so now Fuck we're seeing it. accountability from What's him. What's good, Dante? Uh, which has been What's a good, my boy, Dante? step from maybe some of those other incidents. So maybe this is an indication that, hey, he has seen what some of the consequences of his actions can be. And he's moving forward from here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, that shit crazy.